Daily Trends once again is here on Penax News. My name is Ethel and this is the hub of entertainment where all your entertainment updates would be here. And so let's talk about Kanye West coming back to collaborate with uh, Adidas. Yes. So if you're someone that had followed Kanye's um, split with Adidas, there were some reasons that he had to split um, from Adidas. And so Adidas is a shoe company whereby um, it's owned by a German. And you could see that um, they have produced a lot of shoes and with different designs as well. And so recall that Kanye West decided to part ways with the brand due to one or two reasons. And people have speculated that this particular pattern really um, evolves around his reputation as Kanye West is one of the biggest names when it comes to the music industry. And so there has been some reasons why Kanye West initially parted ways from Adidas. And so, yes, um, there were some reasons, especially on the side of financial constraints. Um, there were some rumors concerning Adidas stealing the designs of Yeezy. Yes, Yeezy too is a shoe brand as well. So Adidas trying to steal the designs from Yeezy as well as um, the entire company of Yeezy. Now, Kanye West was actually the ambassador, the face of Adidas until certain controversies came out. And he himself came out to say that it was through his lawyer that he had to see certain signs of um, people trying to take over the Adidas business without his consent to the extent that it went through um, some financial losses and he had to come out to say that, look, I've had enough of this business entity and all that. I know I'm a businessman, but when it comes to things like this, I... I'm not interested. So all I have to do is to part ways in order for my Yeezy brand to stand. And so this was um, the headline in which he said he wanted to part ways from Adidas. And also um, there were some attempts in stealing or let's say in selling his company when Adidas at a point in time had a loss form their brand and seeing that Yeezy is trying to build up from scratch, they had to get some collaboration in order to sell the company. And so these aside, that is one of the reasons that um, Kanye West had to leave the company of Adidas. But there is some facts that um, proves that Kanye is on his way to join the Adidas family once again, since he own, I mean, he doesn't own the brand actually, but he is the face of the brand. And I have some statement um, from some social media site, which has um, a very in-depth information concerning Kanye's comeback to Adidas. And so according to Cope O'Clock, um, Kanye West and Adidas are rumored to be in talks of restoring their partnership. These talks follow soon after Adidas has reported that they are sitting on over 1.2 billion of unsold Yeezy products with a potential $750 million loss. And so, yes, this is also one source of um, proof that Kanye is really coming back. And according to Kanye's post, uh, according to Secret Source Group, Ye and uh, Adidas have figured out how to move the remaining Yeezys. Neither Adidas nor Ye has confirmed this. Secret Source hasn't shared their source. And so um, one more um, evidence or confirmed site from Highs uh, Nobility says that today Adidas confirms in a statement that hit has taken the decision to terminate the partnership with Kanye West, real name Ye, immediately end production of Yeezy brand products and stop all payments 
to ye and his companies. And that will stop the Adidas Yeezy business with immediate effect. The statement also read that as a result of Kanye's action, Adidas is expected to have a short-term negative impact up to 250 million euros on the company's net income in 2022, given the high seasonality of the fourth quarter. Adidas' announcement follows the Balenciaga statement to independently break up with Ye on October 21. It looks like the fashion industry is finally divorcing Ye over his recent outburst. So this particular statement was the time where he had to part ways with Adidas due to some statements released on social media. And then uh, Elon Musk also saying that on his Twitter platform had to suspend that particular account to um, up to date, we haven't uh, seen Kanye West on Twitter in recent times. But um, the same site also has given some indications on Kanye's coming back that Adidas is estimating that the loss of its Yeezy business will cost up to $1.3 billion, according to experts. The extenuating factor is, of course, the money. Adidas estimated approximately $2 billion in yearly Yeezy sales, according to analysts, nearly 10% of Adidas' overall venue. A press release Adidas issued on February 10th points to 2024 as the year that Adidas turns it all around. The numbers speak for themselves. We are currently not performing the way we should, said Adidas CEO Bijan Golden in that said release. 2023 will be a year of transition to set the base to again be a growing profitable company. We need to put the pieces back together again. But I am convinced that over time we will make Adidas shine again. But we need some time. Adidas shared dip in response on the day of the release, sitting at $74.06 after markets opened, down from a yearly high of $86.69 on February 3. The announcement follows news that Adidas' Ivy Park line isn't bringing in the revenue that Adidas expected, with sales reporting reportedly dropping over 50% from 2021's $90 million hole. A representative for Ivy Park disputes the claims, which posits that the line earned $40 million in 2022, far lower than the Adidas's $250 million expectation. Adidas is currently re um, remote to be working on line of in-house sneakers that are nearly indistinguishable from Yeezy's design. And so these are certain statements from credible sites. Mm -hmm.